Welcome to Waterloo Warbirds, and congratulations on selecting the Harvard Mark II for your ride today. We are very confident that you will enjoy your flight today and leave with memories that will last a lifetime. But prior to flying in the Harvard today, we have a passenger briefing video for you to watch that will cover Transport Canada mandatory briefing items, as well as information that will familiarize you with being a passenger in the Harvard Mark II and safety-related subjects. Enjoy the video and please ask your passenger coordinator or any Waterloo Warbird crew member any questions you may have at any time. Our goal is to provide you with the best and safest flying experience possible. During your flight today, you will be wearing a seat pack parachute. The parachute is similar to a backpack but also has a seat cushion you will be sitting on while in the aircraft. When donning the parachute, you will put it on by putting one arm through at a time. Once on, you will do up the chest strap and snugly secure it, and then tuck any loose strapping in behind it. You will then reach down between your legs and pull the leg straps to your hips where you will secure them on either leg. Once it is on, your pilot will then brief you on the use of the parachute. To enter the rear cockpit, you will use the left side of the aircraft. Below the front canopy, there is a footrest which you will grab with your right hand to pull yourself up onto the left wing. Please make sure you only stand on the black matting attached to the wing. Once standing on the wing, you will place your right foot on the footrest directly below the rear cockpit. With your right hand, grab the back of your seat rest and pull yourself up and over the body of the aircraft. You can stand on the seat frame. Before sitting, have a look down and you will see where your seat pack is to rest. At this point, you can sit down. To exit the aircraft, you will stand and then turn facing away from the exit. While standing on the left seat rail, lift your right leg up and back over the side of the aircraft and place it on the footrest about halfway down to the wing. Once your right leg is firmly planted, Lift your left leg up and back out over the side of the aircraft and bring it down to the black wing matting. When climbing down from the wing, be sure to hold the footrest. Once comfortably seated, you will secure yourself into your seat by use of the four-point harness. Bring the right and left lap belts to your belly area and the two shoulder straps over your shoulders to the front of your body. You will then take the left lap belt and secure it in the locking mechanism slot the right shoulder strap, you will secure it in a locking mechanism and finally your left shoulder strap can be secured in a remaining slot in the mechanism. To release the seat belt, pull the locking handle up and to your right to simultaneously unlock all of the straps. Once you're seated in the rear cockpit, your passenger coordinator will have you demonstrate how to open and close the canopy as well as identify the emergency release handle. The red handle on the left side of your canopy when pulled into the aircraft will allow you to slide the canopy to the fully closed position or two other semi-open positions. It is important to note that the rear canopy must be fully open or fully closed during landings and takeoffs. The Harvard Mark II rear cockpit canopy has emergency release handles on either side of the canopy. The handles are T-shaped, red in color and when pulled will release the glass panels from the canopy. These are only to be used in an emergency. During your flight, you will be wearing a helmet. The helmet and microphone will allow you to communicate with your pilot during your flight. To speak to your pilot, all you need to do is talk normally into the microphone. It is important for you to know that you will also hear air traffic control communication. Do not speak to your pilot when you hear this. It may be necessary for you to wait a few seconds for air traffic communication to conclude before talking. We encourage you to speak to your pilot and share any concerns or observations that you may have during your flight. Located directly in front of you is the control stick. During your flight, the stick will move in all directions. In addition, 
The rudder pedals located at your feet will move back and forth during all ground movement and while in the air. It is very important that you keep your hands and feet away from the flight controls at all times unless instructed otherwise by the pilot. During your flight, the pilot may offer for you to fly the plane. This will be discussed prior to your flight, however it is important that when this occurs, proper communication of exchange of control takes place. This is done by the pilot saying, you have control. You as a passenger will then say, I have control. You are now flying the aircraft. When the pilot takes control back, he will say, I have control. And you will then say, you have control. The pilot is now flying the aircraft. In front of you, there is a panel which has instruments that may be of interest to you. There is an altimeter that indicates altitude and an airspeed gauge that lets you know your indicated airspeed. One of the more interesting gauges is an accelerometer that lets you know how many G's you have pulled during your flight. Within the rear canopy, there is a fire extinguisher located to the left of your seat in a cradle. It will be pointed out to you by your passenger coordinator. Air sickness during flight can happen to anyone at any time. There are vomit bags located in a cabinet to the right of your seat. Should you feel unwell, please tell your pilot at your earliest opportunity and retrieve a bag so as to be prepared for sickness. We hope that you have enjoyed the Harvard Passenger Briefing video. Please remember to ask your passenger coordinator any questions that you have. We are here to assist you every step of the way to ensure you have an amazing flying experience. And now, let's go fly!